Hi, I'm Matt from Howtech, and today, in Technically Speaking, we are going to be looking at firmware and software compatibility. To do this, we're going to be using our Platinum Pro plug-in ECU and our R32 GDR Skyline. Uh, this ECU plugs directly into the factory Nissan harness, which is located in the passenger side footwell. Uh, remove the plastic cowl. You will notice that you need a 10 mm spanner to remove the factory ECU from the wiring harness. Now there's any number of reasons why you may want to upgrade to a new version of firmware and a new version of software. It may be because you want new features. Uh, it may be because the firmware that you're running uh, has a bug that needs fixing. Um, it may just be that when you've gone online you notice that you're given an error message. That's probably the most uh, common way that you'll be required to upgrade your firmware or software. As you can see here, this particular vehicle is driven in and I've been given a message as I go online that says the ECU's firmware is too new and it is not supported by this version of ECU Manager. Please upgrade to the newest firmware. Now this particular message is telling me that the firmware, which is the code that's actually loaded into your Haltech box, is newer than the software you have loaded onto your laptop. That simply means there's more features in the box than your software can handle. In this case, you must upgrade to the latest software onto your laptop. To do that, go to www.haltech.com and go to the Downloads page. From there, you can download the latest version of software. Now, I've been to the Haltech website and I've downloaded the latest version of software and I can go online with my ECU. Now, Another thing that may occur is the opposite of this, where you have a later version of software on your laptop than you have firmware in your Haltech box. In this case, you simply go online with your Haltech ECU and the front end software is totally backward compatible. So all the features that you have in your box are in the software. What you will notice is any new features of new software that haven't been loaded in your box are not available to you. To get any new features from your newer software, you must upgrade your box to the latest firmware. To upgrade the firmware and your Haltech ECU, simply go online with the Haltech software, go to the Tools menu and select Upgrade Firmware. If you're not sure if you have the latest firmware, go to the Haltech website www.haltech.com and go to the downloads page. This will list the latest public release version of firmware and software. Once you've upgraded to the latest versions of firmware and software and you go online with your ECU, the ECU will ask you, do you want to update your map? Now because new firmware and software have new features, you definitely want to do this. Once your software and your firmware upgraded, your map has been upgraded to the latest features, you are ready to tune. Well, that's all we have for today. I'm Matt from Haltech. We'll see you next time.